Gonna do another front pedal. So I've gone a bit too extreme with the fringe. Me and my mate took a pedal out and we went to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, here we go. It's vlog time. Here we go again. Another day, another vlog. Another day, another Fred Perry. We're at another day, another Fred Perry. We're out and about. We're at uh, the O2, or as I like to call it, the Millennium Dome in uh, London again. We're this in London. Time, this time it's my turn. We need to um, stop calling this channel at home with the Buckleys. We should oh, call it we'll the Buckleys be... Pop into London. We'll be back at London. We are at the O2. We've come here to see. <laughs> Who are we seeing? We're seeing a band. Who is it? It's the, it's the Who. <laughs> Good. Yeah, the Who. We're here to see the Who. Oh my God, my hair's just went painted. I will say this now. I haven't said this for a while, actually. But if, you know, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe now because after you've watched the video, you won't want to. Oh, here we go. So at this point of the vlog, I was hoping to, uh, I was hoping to just cut into some classic rock. One of the biggest bands in rock. Um, but I'm doing the, you know, standard bloke waiting outside because uh, she needs to have a wee. Now I'm just standing here like a lemon. And I thought, I thought I'd let you guys stand with me, in a way. So we can all feel like a bunch of idiots together. So, hopefully we'll see some, you know, some highlights of the Who concert coming up now. Gig. Not sure if you can hear me. Really great show. So special to be able to see the Who. Absolutely amazing. I can't believe my luck. I'm trying to get out now because I've, I've, I really need a fart really badly. So uh, hopefully we'll make our way out of this maze that is the O2 arena and uh, I'll be able to let rip. Lots of people coming up asking for pictures, which is always great. It's always something I really enjoy. But it does mean that I can't can't fart because then they will just think I stink. That's where I'm at. That's where, that's, that's where I'm at with my life at the moment. Just want to quickly interrupt this week's vlog so for... Sorry, sorry, sorry for interrupting. Sorry for interrupting whatever you were watching. I'm sure it was riveting. For our sponsor this week, which is Sky Kids. God, we love Sky in this house, don't we? We don't mind a bit of Sky. I've been a Sky customer for... Must be nearly 13 years. Uh, yeah, I was gonna 14 guess. 14 years. I was gonna guess 15. But this week we want to talk to you about Sky Kids. Obviously, it's the summer holidays. Yes, yes. You Every know. day can't be go karting or rock climbing. Seeing the who. Or 
jumping on trampolines or swimming or soft plays and stuff like that. Some days you have to do, you know, as parents, as adults, sometimes maybe you have to do a bit of work. And maybe the kids have to just entertain themselves for five seconds. Yes. Which is where Sky Kids app comes in really handy. It works on their tablets, it works on Sky Q, Sky Glass, whatever you've got. And if you're a Sky Mobile customer, you can stream that with hours of cartoons and interactive games and it won't use up any of your data elements, which is great. Mm -hmm. So the Sky Kids app has loads of stuff to keep your little ones occupied. And your big ones. <laughs> It ranges from really little ones, two to three, right up to 10 or 11. Or both our boys use it and really enjoy it. There's a wide range of entertainment on the Sky Kids app, from cartoons, music videos, games, and what is you know quite important and something that we appreciate, it's, it's all for your kids. It's all appropriate for your children. Sky's got you covered there. So you don't have to worry either about your kids accessing something that you wouldn't be happy about them seeing. It's all monitored. It's all appropriate. And the most important thing, which we don't need to tell the kids, is that it's still educational. So even though school's out, they're still learning. Yeah, yeah. We're tricking them. We're tricking them into learning stuff. No, it is great. There's educational stuff. They're learning. They're being creative. Stuff like, for example, 123 Number Squad, which is action adventure CGI animation with maths. And also there's downtime as well. They can watch their fa favourite cartoons and just relax. So thank you very much to Sky Kids. Thank you for giving us a little break when we need it. I'd personally say that some of the games are a bit difficult. I find them quite tricky. <laughs> um, but I've learnt a lot. I've learnt so much using yeah, Sky Kids. you have, yeah. <laughs> And they don't know they're learning, bless them, <laughs> but it keeps them amused, keeps them happy. All right, guys, how's it going? Little vlog update for you. We weren't planning on switching on the camera right now. No. Right? We were just sitting down, having a little curry, watching a film. We always get comments asking why do we put subtitles on when we're watching a film? I had to show you guys this. Now we're watching a film that doesn't have sub subtitles, it doesn't have the option to have subtitles. What's the film called? The Endless. The Endless. It's well, it might be really good. I think it's a complicated film anyway, yeah. but coupled with the fact that you cannot understand a single word anyone says, we'll play you a little bit now and just comment, comment below what you think this bloke says. And this is an example of the whole film. At first that thing doesn't inform, doesn't it? Yeah, it considers it sacred even. What? Snatch you right out of your shoes. So I got... I got the last bit, snatch yeah. you right out of your shoes. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, I got the word sacred. Then I got no, and then snatch you right out of your shoes, but this has just happened all the way through. It's all the way through. You cannot understand a word. Any of the... Let's go to bed. Go to bed. They, they mumble all the way through. It's like watching one of these vlogs. It's like watching me vlog. <laughs> Comments below. Translate that for me. We'll get back to whatever we're doing in the vlog at this point. I don't know. But I just wanted to show you guys that. It's vlog time. It is. Got a little shopping in, I do. Yep, as stuff. Boys are upset. Yeah, they, didn't under, they didn't understand that it was just a little shop. They're yeah. slagging off your shopping. Yeah, Harrison was literally saying, he was like whispering to me. He's going, Dad, I, I think she's lost it. And you know why he's saying that? Why? Because there's no loads of crap. I mean, there's loads of crisps. I know, he was going, where's it? And I was going, there's crisps. Uh, look, what do you want? Oh, tonic water. You back on the gin, Claire? Yeah, and do you know what I did? I bought loads of tonic water and I didn't buy anything. Yeah, I was about to say, have we got any gin? No. So I'm looking for a little bit of support. I've had my hair cut and Claire's uh, very kindly pointed out that Claire said that I've gone a bit too extreme with the fringe, which I, th which I don't think I have because it's, I mean, this is how I have my hair cut. It's just off a short. The fringe is off a short. That's all I say. And I'm sure you lot all agree. You know, it's not new to me. I've had my barnet taking the piss out of for well over a decade now. What people don't understand is they thought that your hair just looked like that for a laugh for the in-between us, yeah. but they didn't realise that was actually your hair. Right. Well, the one person that used to like my haircut and champion my haircut has also turned against me. That's not true. I've got no one now. I just said it was a bit short. Harrison said it as well. Yeah, well Harrison's a <laughs> I might be playing golf this week, Claire. Right. You don't really strike me as a golf kind I've of I've got to be honest, I, uh, the thought of it, it seems boring to me. Got my mate Chris 
Uh, we're doing a par three, whatever that means. I was going to say, do you even know what that means? And he's got a spare set of clubs. But I need to get, I need to get clothes. Don't you dare. I'm going to get some little no, sort of short trousers and long socks. You must have one of those little tartan hats. With the little... <laughs> what? Have you not? That's if I even go. <laughs> this is for you. Oh, thank you. What, what's happening with this uh, angle? It's just so you can get my head in. Right. <laughs> it's so that you can get my face in. Right. If I had it as a normal person's... Oh, you can still get my face yeah, in. Yeah, bit dramatic there, Jimmy. You know me. Oh, I did. Right, what's the plan? What are we doing? Plan is, plan is right. It's the summer holidays, and we got it. We're just relax, relaxing today. <laughs> relaxing, relaxing, chilling on all calls, shooting some b boy outside of the school. I don't feel well today. Do you not feel well today? No. You look fantastic. I feel you're, a bit rubbish. You're glowing. Have you got anything to tell me? Got any news for us? I don't know if we've mentioned this on the vlog. When Jude was a toddler. Jude had this habit of just telling people that Claire was pregnant <laughs> and that he was having a little sister yeah. and that Claire had been to the doctor. Oh yeah, he went into like a, a, a whole story about it. It wasn't just like, oh, my mum's got a baby in her belly. It was like, she's been to the doctor. I'm not allowed to tell anybody. Yeah. It's a secret. He did, it to, he did it to your mum. Yeah, And your mum was like, she was hanging out with you for a bit. Yeah. And then after about 45 minutes, she went, are you just going to tell me or not? I like, know. She just, and I was like, what? <laughs> And then you went to pick him up from nursery. Yeah. And the teacher was like, Congratulations. Congratulations. I was like, I've heard your news. I was like, what? What a little freak. <laughs> Claire, you did a great job putting that shopping away. Well you done. You did a great job watching me. I'm vlogging, I'm documenting. Um, There's flies in here. The fl like, the flies are absolutely insane. Does anyone get. I don't even know if you can see though, see them on the... Oh, you must be able to see that. What are these flies? What are they? Who is she? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that! <laughs> right, go and put some eyebrows on. Because you look weird. And... Uh, I look weird. And I'll meet you... I look weird. I'll meet you in the, in the living room for a beer. A work... A beer? It's five to eleven? Yeah, I don't mean right this second. Oh, okay. James, I've got something to show you. <laughs> so, yesterday I got loads of messages on my Instagram and it was all coming up like the same thing and I was like, what is this? Hold on. I've been asked to show you something. Right. Don't look so scared, it's fine. And yet here we are in Africa, guys. This has been an absolute once in a lifetime journey. Oh my God, I can't believe I made it, yes, yes! But yo guys, if you enjoyed this what? video- Is he supposed to look like me or something? No, if this what? video gets 20,000 likes, I will take a pedalo to Africa, just like in this clip right here. Just fine, but on holiday in Spain one year, me and my mate took a pedalo out and we went to Africa. What? Just keep watching, keep watching. Classic. But not only that, I want the actor who plays the infamous Jay Cartwright to come and do it with me. So, guys, please tag him. Someone, if you know him, show it to him. If you're watching this, bro, I want you to come with me on this adventure. I think it would be absolutely hilarious if we actually did it. And then finally, you can genuinely say that you completed it. All right. So, you want to do it? Take a pedalo to Africa. I don't know who this guy is. No, he's got a lot of subs he's got more subscribers than us. Yeah, he's very successful. Look, uh, so that's what he does. He does insane stuff. Yeah. Challenges and things like that. Yeah. If I know James Buckley, climb, which climb I the do. tallest crane in the UK. That's one of his videos. I can't even get him to come to Asda with me. So good luck. Has it got twenty thousand likes yet? It's got thirteen thousand. Well, he's not there yet. So, so go and check out Night Scap. Aldean. Nightscape. Oh, Nightscape. Sorry, I was looking at the thing there. <laughs> Professional parkour athlete. Film oh, yeah, maker. that's a bit of you. That's me, isn't it? What's he want? He wants us to go, he wants us to take a pedalo from Spain to Africa. Yeah. Like from the like in between. between us. Yeah. i got to be honest, right? There is 2% of me that is interested. 2%? There you go. Better than one. That's curious. 
that's curious. I mean, we'll die. We'll sh no, get that a go. <laughs> we'll die. You need to challenge yourself. All right, I'll tell you what, if this video gets 20,000 likes, then I'll think about it. Oh, I'll think about it. <laughs> oh, I've been called out. I've you been called can't. out over the internet. Yeah. It can't be done. A ped like a proper pedalo as well, not like... Well, what was he doing in that one? Because he was just celebrating. He took a moped. Can I ride a scooter from London to Africa? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Look at what us sitting on this couch. What, 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 what do I get out of it? Um, what would I gain out of... Maybe and, some maybe some views? Maybe some views, sure. But I'm, I'm going to need something more than just like, you know, the, the, the feeling of, of completing a challenge. We die. Me and that fella on a pedalo <laughs> together. <laughs> Imagine out of all the stuff he's done. Yeah, he, he does something with you and it ends badly. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's what will happen. Do I you... think he's crazy. Well, he's called you up. I am intrigued though. I don't know. Night scope. Do you want me to set up a call? Maybe. I think it's definitely worth some kind of chat. I need to know more about this. <laughs> I can't say yes. You're not going to do that. Of course I'm not. <laughs> it makes sense. The pedal to Africa thing makes sense. It's the joke. From the in between us thing. Maybe you could do it for charity. Maybe you could do Maybe it for. Maybe we could a... do it for charity. Um, do you have um, life insurance? Is it all up to date? Yeah, you know I do. I don't know if this. Co I don't know if it covers this. Oh, you being stupid. Yeah. I'd have to. I think I'd have to take out a specific policy to do something like this. Right. He'd just be. He'd be furious, because he would be only one peddling. Yeah. I'd be pretending to. I don't think he knows you well enough. <laughs> We'd be going around in circles. Maybe get him to watch a couple of episodes out of the Buckley's <laughs> and see if he still wants to do it. I, I, my interest has been piqued though. I'm interested. I, I need to know how it would work. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. Maybe we should watch some of his videos, see what he does. See That's if just going to put me off, I think. See if he's safe or he not. He seems like a nutter, obviously. <laughs> there's a, a, there's a con I'm up for a conversation. Okay. I'm open, I'm open to a conversation about it. Where how would it work? you get to say no. How would it work? What's the danger? That's what I need to know. Drowning. Harry Gallagher. Find some way of contacting no, my James, management or something. He's a general life enthusiast. <laughs> That's never gonna work. I'll be able to bring him down a peg. I'll make him see life in a, co a completely different way. We'll have a conversation. I'll have a, co I'll have a chat with him. Okay. I'm interested in having a chat with him. Okay, there you go. Seeing how he thinks this would work. Okay. I've done my job. The guy said, if anybody knows him, can you show him this? Taking I a, know you, and I showed you. Taking a pedal out. Right, I'll have, I'm up for, I'll have a, I need, I'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. He's not going to do it. Don't we'll you set yourself it. up for something we'll you don't want to do. Well, listen, if people, you know what I'm like? I'm, you know, I'm a people pleaser. I'm a pathetic little people pleasing guy. If people, if enough people go, go on. <laughs> There's been loads of times in my life where like, like crowds have gone, do it, and I go, all right. <laughs> Harry doesn't, won't watch this, so we'd need you guys to be a go-between. You'd show him this video of me saying that we need to have a chat. Oh. Didn't know you were filming. Yeah. What's happening? Oh well. There you go, guys. That was some nonsense. About 20 minutes worth of nonsense for you. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, maybe give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. That's what I was also going to say. If you didn't enjoy it, which is much more likely, let's face it, um, a thumbs up would still be appreciated. <laughs> Just so it's a win-win for us. Doesn't make any difference to you. Could help this video and this channel. There's worst YouTube channels. I've seen some of them. Have you really? Yeah. I've yet to discover a YouTube channel worse than this. I guess you have. That one that I've watched a couple of times. They two idiots. Joe Sug. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for watching. I'm not talking about you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Um, we really do appreciate it. We should probably let you know that we're actually going to take a couple of weeks off from the old vlogs. We are. Uh, the kids are at home and we just want to... Well, we've got this thing at the moment that Harrison is getting a bit older. And we're a bit worried that maybe Harrison won't want to hang out with us as much um, very soon because he'll be a sort of an adolescent, won't he? He'll be I know. He does. He keeps telling us, no, that's not going to happen, guys. I'm always going to want to hang out. But obviously we know that it's it's going to change very soon. But 
Um, not like, you know, like a Christmas break or anything, just, just a couple of weeks over summer, a couple of Wednesdays. Um, so this will be the last one and then we'll be back. In a few weeks time. Two, um, three Wednesdays later. Yeah, we'll... Um, We're just going to hang out with the boys. We've got a couple of little bits planned. We're going to sit in the garden. We're going to... I'm going to attempt some barbecue and we're just going to... Well, don't tell them that. That's their favourite thing that we do with them. They'll be, don't worry, there'll be more barbecue at some point on this vlog. Um, but we just want to let you know that because some people... Which is great, really nice. Some people miss when we don't put a vlog out. Sometimes we miss a week and stuff and our argument is no one will care. No one will notice. No, I get and, some messages. And some people do. So we just thought we'd let you know beforehand Thank you for watching this vlog. We'll see you in a couple of weeks' time. Have um, a brilliant start to your summer holiday. If you, if that's, I don't know, if you, I, I guess it's a kid thing, isn't it? The yeah. summer holiday. And um, and please, above all else, over the summer, do stay scummy, won't you? For me, is that weird enough? It, I I was wondering where it was going. I thought you were going to be like, stay safe. No, don't stay safe. Stay scummy. Right. Say bye, Claire. Bye, Claire.